Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. And Ash Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. And Ash Wednesday. It's also a happy day, Ash Wednesday. Uh, so today we we have a, uh, a joint celebration, okay? and um, it is it is auspicious to uh, talk about Ash Wednesday in the context of Valentine's Day. Okay? Um, we'll uh, we'll do that in a while. So today we have a long gospel, so I'll skip having to read the whole thing. It comes from St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6, and 16 to 18. But the whole gospel, as you're going to listen to it later at Mass, is all about uh, Jesus telling his disciples that when you fast, or when you pray, or when you uh, give alms, okay, do it, do it in such a way that you guard against um, showiness okay that you don't you don't do it just for show you don't uh, pray and you don't do um, penance and sacrifices um, that will be um, outwardly obvious externally obvious right because he says it is better that you do these things privately, you do them in secret, in order that um, only God would appreciate your uh, sacrifice, your prayer, okay? and the help that you give other people. Because he says, if you do it uh, for show, okay? if you do it in order to impress people, well, you already got your reward. Because the reward there is that uh, other people will get impressed with how pious you are, how good you are, how generous you are, and um, and uh, that's true. You have you already reaped your your reward that way and praise in front of other people. But Jesus is telling us guard against that tendency and make sure that in anything you do, in anything you do. Do it only for the greater glory and honor of God. Okay? That is something you've heard, you've heard from me many times. Right? That when we do things, whatever it is that we do, whether it be our schoolwork, our chores, okay? um, the, uh, um, the, uh, the little services that we render to each other, let us always do these things for the greater glory and honor of God. Not just to obey for the sake of obeying or just getting things out of the way. Let's just get things done. Or not because we want to impress people and show them how good we are. All of those things are not valid reasons for doing a good job at the things we do. The only good reason to excel and to do good is to do things for the greater glory and honor of God. And Jesus reminds us of that in the context of the beginning of Lent in today's gospel. Okay? To do things, to do your sacrifices and penances and almsgiving only for the greater glory and honor of God. Now let's connect that to Valentine's Day. Okay? We so happen, it so happens that uh, Valentine's Day uh, is also being celebrated on uh, the day of Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent. Okay? Now, that's nice because it helps us to uh, remind ourselves of what the season of Lent is really all about. And can we review? Can we review? What is the season of Lent all about anyway? What is the culmination of this entire season? Uh, the 40 days. Okay, the 40 days, right? The 40 days, uh, we are, we are uh, commemorating the 40 days that Jesus spent in the desert fasting uh, and preparing for what? 
uh, preparing for his mission, for his mission uh, on earth, right? Okay, which which uh, will culminate where? What is his mission anyway? Yeah, what is that, Jana? Huh? The salvation of souls, right? So the culmination of the mission of Jesus Christ on earth is. Yeah, to preach the gospel, to make known God the Father to us, to reveal the, the Godhead to us, right? And to save us from our, from our sins. So the ultimate end of that is the salvation of souls, which happens at the end of this Lenten season with Holy Week, right? Good Friday, he dies on the cross and all of that, right? Until he resurrects from the dead. So that is the whole idea of Lent. It is to remind us of that salvific mission of jesus christ right now why did christ die on the cross for us why did he have to save us from our sins what was it all about what was that for why yeah the sacrifice why did he do that yeah because we can save ourselves yeah but but what is the what is the ulterior motive why did jesus have to do all that because to reopen the gates of heaven, but why? Because he, because he loved us, <laughs> because he loved us, right? It was all because of God's love for mankind. For us, we are his special creatures. He made us his children, right? So it was because of love for us that he died for us. It was because of love for us that he sacrificed his life for us. So you can now connect these two events. Ash Wednesday, the beginning of uh, 40 days of sacrifice, of prayer, intense prayer and almsgiving and, and service to others. We do that because of the same reason, because of love. Right? We are emulating, we are copying the love that Jesus Christ had for us. And now we are reciprocating that. We now want to show that love, that same love, back to Jesus. Okay? We want to love him in turn okay? by us offering now sacrifices for the reparation of our own sins. So that we can connect this sacrifice that we are doing to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. See? And that way we are uniting our love with the love of Jesus Christ. Okay? That is the communion of love that we now are sharing with Jesus. That's why the whole reason why we pray is we want to communicate with our love who is Jesus Christ. Why do we sacrifice? Because we want to attach that sac those sacrifices to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ who, who sacrifices life for love of us. Why do we want to give to others and serve others? Because it's the same thing that Jesus did to us. He died to serve us. See? He, he came to earth not to, serve, not to be served, remember? I came not to be served but to serve. See? To serve the good of mankind. And so we are doing the same thing. In this season of Lent. In a more intensified way. Okay? So the whole season of Lent. Really. Is all about love. And what better way. To begin it. Than for it to be tied up. Uh, with, with Valentine's Day. The day we celebrate. Uh, human love. Okay? Human love. So we can tie together. <coughs> human love. With Lent. And elevate it to a supernatural level. So that this love that we share on the human plane becomes supernaturalized, so to speak. It becomes elevated to the supernatural plane and by then gives greater glory and honor to God. Okay? So it's, it's nice. It's nice that we are beginning this Lent with that, with that thought of love, with the spirit of love. Okay? So, uh, folks, as a reminder, I suppose uh, you've heard it already from other sources and many times. Um, Ash Wednesday and Good Friday are days of uh, abstinence and fasting. 
but all Fridays of Lent are uh, fasting, meaning, uh, meaning sorry, uh, abst abstinence, meaning we abstain from meat. Okay? And fasting means we, uh, we adults 18 years old and above uh, take only one full meal uh, on, on these two days, Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. How's that, honey? 18 to 16. Oh, 18 to 59, actually. 18 to 59. But abstinence from meat begins at the age of 14. See? How many are 14 here? Two. I'm not 14. <laughs> no, 14 and above. Biological. See? Okay. Okay. So that's it for us, folks. We'll see you uh, tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, enjoy the season of Lent. While it may be a season of sacrifice, uh, it is also a joyful season because we, we are happy. We are happy to connect our sacrifices to the sacrifices of Jesus. It may be a time of struggle. It may be a time of uh, some uh, pinching here and there of our desires, of our likes, of our wants, of the things that we uh, uh, crave for, which we might want to give up. Uh, but if we do it all out of love, okay? if we do it all out of love for God, if we do it for the greater glory and honor of God, if we apply that rectitude of intention in everything we do and in the sacrifices we offer, in the almsgiving we do this season of Lent, then it will all be done for a happy motive. It will all be done for a happy intention. So we have reason to smile. We have reason to be cheerful. Even at a time like this of Lent. So let's see you put on those smiles. As you offer your mortifications and sacrifices to God this season. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Why do you put that there? <laughs> These kids put up a display for... Uh, for uh, for Valentine's Day. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Bye bye. See you later. Bye.